some local stories. I want to start with the local election. We read last week's cup of coffee on Tuesday. That was voting day, so we didn't know the results. And, you know, Chris, as I looked at Camden County is what we're going to focus on, the larger of the three counties. First thing that stood out to me was the voter turnout. Pretty low, right? Pretty disappointing. Uh, Pretty sad. Especially at this, you know, day and time in our country, with the struggles we're going through and everybody's moaning and groaning and bitching and complaining, but you can't, you don't have enough energy to go out and vote, right. then you have no right to complain. You know, I mean, that, that really just disgusts me that people will complain all day long, but then they won't get their butt off the couch and go vote. That, that just is crazy to me. Yeah, I honestly, I kind of took it personal that we didn't educate, we didn't promote Enough going into this election in Camden County, 29,948 registered voters, just 3,086 votes were casted, which equated to 10.3% voter turnout. Um, And in some of these races, Chris, uh, in particular that I saw, like the Lynn Creek mayor, Mm -hmm. you mean to tell me there was only one candidate, Mayor Jeff Davis, but four votes. You heard that right. that. All of Lynn Creek is in Camden County, meaning four of the residents in Lynn Creek decide who their mayor is. That's that to crazy. me is crazy. Or Camdenton Alderman, Ward 3, Steve Eden was beaten by Don Newhart. Don got 19 votes and Steve got 18. 37 votes casted. That is how little turnout, and that's how important your vote is here locally. Yeah. One of the people that was gonna vote for Steve potentially, Eden, They didn't get to the poll because they got caught up at work later. They decided not to. They do get to the poll. We're in a deadlock tie. One vote literally changes it. I looked at the village of Sunrise Beach, uh, and their alderman race was decided by one vote for Steve Barthel. The person that lost him was one vote less. And so the voter turnout for me is shocking that in some of these smaller municipalities, so few people actually decide. Yeah, Uh, it is amazing that you can be the mayor of a town right here in the area and you get four votes, right? That's all it takes. Uh, not to say that, you know, he's a good mayor or bad mayor or whatever, but four votes? Come on, people, that's crazy. Uh, 10% of the turnout, uh, again, our country is struggling. It's in big, deep trouble. Why is it in big, deep trouble? Because good people won't go out and vote. You know and, I mean? And we crazy. can't blame anybody. When I look at the three uh, municipalities, our tri-county area, Miller County, Morgan County, and Camden County, they make it overly abundantly easy for you. It is so user-friendly on their website. You can see, as we've been telling you, you can see the sample ballot. You can find your voter precinct. You can find out if you're registered. They'll even take your call and talk you through the process. There's no excuse. And so Uncle Chris and I and the Lake TV team have kind of taken it personally And we're vowing to work with Roland Todd, Camden County clerk, to raise voter turnout come August. Because Mm -hmm. that is equally as important of an election, if not uh, as important. But one thing before we move past the election, we talked about surprises. I was really surprised, whether however you feel about Gail Griswold, that with the body of work that she's had in the last two years and the changes to growth that the Camden County School District has seen under her leadership that she got voted out. Michael Brandon Gulledge, he had 988 votes for 34.26. Brian Butts, the sitting member, 956 votes to finish second. And Gail Griswold, 940 votes. Everyone had 32.5% or more. Uh, But that means former president of Camden County School Board, Gail Griswold, is no longer a in the near future, part of the Camden School District, and they'll have to vote for a new president. So it's interesting to see. I don't know anything about Michael Brandon Golich. I don't have anything bad to say about him. I was just surprised, knowing the body of work that Gail Griswold has had the last two years, that, in my opinion, was more than enough to receive an abundance of votes time and time again. Um, but that wasn't the thing, and that was a surprise to me. Was there any other things that stood out to you were like, man, that is crazy. No, the two things that really stood out to me was the disappointment in the voter turnout. uh, Very disappointing. And then I was too very surprised that Griswold lost that. But, uh, you know, you got to give this Michael Brandon Gulledge credit. He got his people motivated and he got them out to vote. And he got the most votes of those three candidates. Uh, So in this election, he and his people were more uh, motivated. If you remember two years ago, Griswold 
And her people were very motivated. I mean, everybody heard about her, everybody knew about her, and uh, she got a lot of votes. I don't think she put in as much time and effort this time, and it kind of backfired. 